Hello, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's Ideas feature. It uses artificial intelligence to give you ideas out of your data. So let's go through an example here. So if you have a little bit of data, it doesn't do as much. But in the Home tab, you have this Ideas thing here, and it can just kind of create pivot tables or pivot charts based on your data. I call these the kind of blue options. We have the orange ones that I think are much more interesting that we're going to cover in more detail later on. But if I want this one, I can click on insert pivot chart and it will create a new tab called idea one with the chart and the associated pivot table. For people like me that already use pivot tables a lot, it's not that great, but where it gets more sophisticated is if you have more data. So here I've got some data on different concerts, uh, dates of concerts, cities where it was held, how many people went, um, by gender, how satisfied they were, what the extras were at this place as well. So I'm going to select this, and it works better if you have your data in a table, like I do, but it still works otherwise. In the Home tab, you have Ideas here. And then it gives us all of these. So this one with the blues, that's not very interesting, but these ones can be quite good. So it gives you a bunch of different things. For example, it will give you um, outliers, uh, trends, majority, um, and we'll see some more as we go along as well. So here I can do insert pivot chart for the outliers. And this one, I can do this for the for the trend. So it's saying that this increases over time where there's actually two filters. One is where singer is Beyonce and the other one is where extras is opening band. So this is a kind of analysis that would actually take me quite a lot to be able to need to do. Uh, this is another type. Singer Britney Spears has noticeably higher. So this is like a ranking style where it ranks that this is the highest one. It can also do those with filters. And if you like what you see, you can say, is this helpful? Yes or no. And then it will use AI to give you similar results to the one that you said is helpful. More results here. Um, this is another one that it does in this kind of donut chart. I quite like this. The, the real majority. So not just noticeably higher, but majority. Cambodia is higher than other places. And then this one. Here we have the maximum. So there's a better maximum down here that's an outliers one. Yeah. So here we can see this is quite a clear maximum for Honda sponsor and gender equals male. So actually two filters. And this is the date with the highest or the maximum number of spectators. So that's sort of it. Those are the, <clears throat> there are five different types really. So outliers, trends, majority, um, maximum and noticeably higher. These are the, the five main ones that I have spotted there. And it's super easy to do. You don't really need to understand how pivot tables or pivot charts work. You just add them like that. I really, really like this feature in Excel. Ideas only available in Excel 365. Great. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I have some other videos that you might find interesting as well. Great. Enjoy the rest of your day.